everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, bit of a different type of vlog today. Um, I'm going to be taking you into Poundland, somewhere I don't regularly go. Um, but my sister and I, who um, also vlogs, Lollipop Box Club, have decided to set each other a little challenge. So I am going to be going to Poundland. We have three pounds, no more. And for that, we have to find things to create a Disney themed DIY, so some sort of crafting related to Disney. Um, so this is going to be quite a challenge. Um, it's my first time vlogging in a normal retail shop, so that's going to be a little bit weird for me, but it will be good fun. So hopefully we're going to have a good laugh and we're going to find some great little buys and little bargains and we're going to create something really, really cool. Um, now, I know this is a theme park channel, so the Disney theme will hopefully bring that into you and kind of give you all some kind of ideas or something um, that you might be able to join in and have a go at home yourself. <laughs> So just in the craft section, I mean Poundland is really busy today and it never looks as organised and as tidy as in my sister's. <laughs> Loads of different yarn. Seen this which maybe I've had an idea for changing. Lots of different home bits. Now I've seen Lisa use one of those and I've also seen her DIY one of these. So I'm trying not to steal her DIYs so far. Just notice this little like list pad hung up, sticky notes. There's also this little get it done pack. seasonal range kind of thinking I might be able to do something with these something I haven't seen Lisa do <coughs> lots of other different types of lights also found these cute little arrows which possibly is similar to what Lisa's done so I am back from Poundland now with my bargains uh, I've got Kyle with me hello there he is <laughs> And he's going to be a little bit of help, especially with filming as well, because this is totally out of my territory. But, Lisa, we're going to win. Um, so, what did I get in Poundland? I found some washi tape. Some wooden pegs. And then what we're actually going to do, some bottle lights, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, let's open that all up, put it on the tray that I've got, and we're going to start crafting. So this is our first look into this. Quite exciting. Like I said, I've got ideas, but because I haven't seen them out of the packet, because I didn't have any, I didn't know how much space was in between the bottles. They're actually quite long. Okay, so, it's really hard to show you on this, but I've got a real long length of these little bottle lights. Long bottle lights. So the idea is, or my idea is, that we're going to have these little bottles filled with some little charms. And then in between, we can have a little peg for photos. So you can see they've all lit up. Got to admit I really really like these. So I think this is going to work really cool. Okay. So these were my washi tapes that I've got in Poundland. We have got Enjoy the Little Things which I thought was quite Disney looking. The leaves quite jungly. Oh Happy Days, 
or how you happy day. And first of all, I'm just going to get a bit of washi tape and just put them around the bottom of the bottles. Now, I don't think I'm going to do every bottle because I like the idea of them all being very slightly different. And seal that over. And then I've got a bottle like that. And then I think I'm going to skip a bottle and then do the next one. No, I'm going to change this actually. I'm going to do it towards the top of the bottle. Now there's a reason why I've decided to change this and I'll change the first one at the end. But I was thinking I actually want to place things into the bottle. Now, if I put these at the bottom, it means that whatever I got to go in there, the little charms or anything like that, is actually going to have to be taller than the washi tape. And I don't really want to be restricted. So I'm going to stick with... Oh, trimming my thumb. So yeah, I'm going to stick with the top of the bottles, I think. And then once again, I'm going to skip a bottle. bottles done and they've all got something slightly different on and then obviously I've got my plain ones in the middle and then I've got lots of these little packs that I've received from Lisa from Lollipop Box Club when she first started out and I've just not really known what to use them for and I've got lots and lots of little pieces in here and I've had a little look at some of them which I'm just going to empty out and there's a lot of things that scream Disney to me. The colours, the shapes, the stories, lots of little bits. So they're going to be like my little Disney charms to go in the bottle. So yeah, like Lisa was, like I said, Lisa always says that hearts remind her of, um, hearts, arrows remind her of Disney. So these bigger things that I've got put into one side will make sense when I get there. So in one bottle I've got a mixture of hearts and diamonds that are sparkly and it kind of reminds me, that makes me think of the Evil Queen. So a little bit of Snow White in that bottle and I'm just going to, am I in it? Am I in the frame? Yep. And then I'm just going to seal that lid back on. And like I said, that's a heart bottle. Then I've got the red heart and I've just put a tiny blob of glue. Oh, dropped it. And I've put that heart on the front of that bottle.
I had an original plan for the clear bottles, but that's kind of changed now from moving along. Find that with crafting stuff, often I change my mind as I go. On this one I think I'm just going to have three lined up love hearts. So, my little bottle of love. got here some 3D pearl effect. It does bubble so you have to kind of be a bit patient. Some Mickey heads on these two. So I've got, that's more my mini bottle because I've got the polka dots. I have an Mickey idea for what's making more Mickey-like. What? You have some nice craft paper there. Yeah. Yellow and red. Matches pants. And here we have our finished little pieces. So as you can see, I've used some other little embellishments left over from previous kits. A little Alice in Wonderland ribbon there on top of a little um, tag. And then we've got the Fet Pixie Dust with the Peter Pan feather. A make a wish list, which I thought was very Disney, and a remember peg. Our little Minnie Mouse bottle. Next to our Disney picture. Our love bottle. Wish you were here. Mushroom, pieces of me, little cupcake, camera. Then we got a little Mickey bottle. Got a little princess bottle, which has actually come to the side. I need to readjust that one a little bit. And our little note in a bottle, Animal Kingdom. So that's the final thing. So as you can see, the idea kind of being, just try and block me a little bit, that you can hang these anywhere. You've got your little reminders on there, or you can have your photos, anything like that really. So just a little multi-purpose, cute little hanging Peggy thing. <laughs> so there you go Lisa, that's what we've come up with. Looking forward to seeing your video to what you've managed to come up with for three pounds. Compared to yours, it took two brains. <laughs> what was that? Compared to Lisa's, it took two brains. It took two brains, but Lisa does it all the time. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is her, like, um, what was I I'm trying to work, profession. Yeah, so we, we just like to film well. Okay? We're amateurs. <laughs> Like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's something totally different to what we normally do. Please comment below if you've enjoyed it and if you want us to do more things like this. I'm sure we can I'm sure we can come up with something. In fact, I've got ideas already. So, let, like I said, let me know below if you want to. Um, if you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe. It really means a lot to us. And we'll see you all soon in a theme park, maybe near you. See you soon. See you later. <laughs>